Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson and you're watching Get Your Sax Together. I sax up your Sunday every week with technique tips, player profiles, tips on playing great solos and of course my famous breakdowns of the world's best loved sax lines. In today's free online sax lesson you'll be learning how to play one of the funkiest, tastiest, most memorable sax solos of all time and that's Gerald Albright's burning tenor solo on Forget Me Nots by Patrice Russian. Forget Me Nots is featured on singer keyboardist Patrice Russian's 1982 album Straight From The Heart and was famously sampled by Will Smith for the Men in Black film. The funky sax solo is by LA session god Gerald Albright and it is not easy I'm afraid folks. Many of you might struggle with this one, even on alto, especially the first phrase which is mega high. So apologies for that but it's one of my favourite solos of all time and at the end of the day it's my channel and I love it so much that I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Before we dive into the fiendish first phrase, remember to go down into the description for this video and click the link to get your free PDF sheet music for Forget Me Nots, which looks like this. It's beautiful. And it's written out for alto and tenor sax with all the phrase numbers marked in. In another life, I'm a bit of a music copyist, so believe me, these PDFs have a lot of love put into them. Okay, let's get straight on and learn the first phrase now. As I've already mentioned, this is super high, so you might do better to take it down the octave. However, if you want to give it a go, the fingerings shown are for the altissimo notes. Here it is, played in slow motion for you to learn. Like I said, don't panic with this one. If you can't scream it out upstairs, just take it down the octave. Just before we move on to the second phrase though, I wanted to quickly mention my free saxophone success masterclass. It's completely free and exclusive. One hour video lesson with loads of in-depth teaching to help you improve your tone, improvise a great solo, design a structured um, practice routine so you don't waste your time. And there's loads of other super cool pro tips and tricks that I've picked up over the years as well. I'm telling you, there's no fluff or padding. <laughs> this is 60 minutes of solid, in-depth teaching to transform your playing. I'm not even sure why I'm giving it away for free, to be honest, but there we go. All the better for you. The link is in the description, or you can visit uh, www.getyoursaxtogether.com forward slash masterclass. Okay, without further ado, let's look at phrase two now. Thankfully, this one's a bit easier. Here it is, played nice and slowly, and watch out for all those ghosted notes in brackets that are quieter than the other notes. <laughs> Oof, that one is funky as you like when it's played up to tempo. Actually, while we're on the topic of funky sax, let's get some healthy debate going on in the comments then. What's your favorite funky sax moment of all time? I'd say my top faves are this one, Wintenfelder on uh, Street Life, Brecker on Native New Yorker, Ernie Watts on The Dude, and about another hundred I haven't mentioned. But I wanna know what yours are. And if one is popular enough, uh, I'll even cover it on the channel. While we're at it, if you never watched to the end of these YouTube videos, keep watching right to the end this time and let me know what you think of the Get Your Sacks Together funky outro music, because I bloody love it. Okay, moving on then, here's phrase three. Apart from the major scale coming up in the next phrase, every note in this solo is from a concert F sharp minor blues pentatonic scale. There's a G sharp minor blues scale for tenor and a D sharp minor blues scale for alto. And you can see this if you go down into the description, click the link to get your free PDF. So if you want to get to grips with pentatonics and with the blues scale used in this solo, which I'd highly recommend, check out my video linked on the card up there now. Phrase four is taken from a B major scale for tenor, F sharp major for alto, and it goes like this. That 
such a great example of the importance of learning your major scales, folks. If you get bored at practicing scales or you don't know how to do it effectively, check out my scales practice video linked up there now. Phrase five and phrase six are actually one phrase, but I've split it into two phrases to make it easier to learn. Now, here's a hot tip. The next phrase, phrase five, is exactly the same as the start of phrase three, but starting on beat two, proving that this is definitely a pattern that Gerald Albright uses or used systematically in his solos. Spoiler alert coming up. Everyone uses pre-programmed licks, folks, so if you're worried about being formulaic, get over it. Here's phrase five in slow motion. As I mentioned, phrase five flows straight into phrase six, and anyone that's got their eagle eye on will notice that beats two and three of this final phrase are exactly the same as beats two and three of the previous phrase, except down the octave. Like I said, <laughs> everyone uses pre-prepared licks. <laughs> So that's it, we've got all the phrases covered now, but just before I play this through for you at full battle speed, it's worth noting that this whole solo only uses one blue scale and one major scale, but it still sounds absolutely amazing. If you want some advice on how to sound great using only a few notes like Gerald Albright does in this solo, then check out the video linked up there now where I give you three tips on how to sound better when you solo without learning any new notes or scales. Okay, let's put this whole thing together now. Remember to get your free PDF from the description to follow along with each phrase as I play it. I've put together a backing track for this one and it features the fantastic bass playing of my old mate Greg from Greg's Bass Shed who does a fantastic job of recreating the legendary Freddie Washington bass part on this track. I've put a link for Greg's Bass Shed on YouTube in the description if you know any bass players who might be interested. There's four bars intro and then the sax comes in. So here we go. So that's it for this Sunday. I hope you're enjoying learning Gerald Arbeit's wicked solo on Forget Me Not. So before we get into the funky end card music that you've all been waiting for, if you want to learn some more in-depth sax stuff, go to getyoursaxtogether.com and get your free one hour lesson with me. And as always, you can support me by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new contact. Check out my Insta and my new Facebook page. Wow. All the links are in the description. <laughs> Until next Sunday, adios amigos and bring on the outro music. No 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 no